Stephen, one of the last people I'm going to catch up with. Um, I've been catching up with members of the squad. Or I often start just by seeing how you've been, how's everything been going with what is almost now four to five, oh, I think it's almost five weeks of lockdown. Mm-hmm. Uh, keeping myself um, entertained, really. Uh, a lot of fitness, a lot of uh, gym and exercising. So just pretty much the usual that we would do at the club, but without the same environment. But well, it's not too bad. I'm keeping myself... Um, busy with, uh, with with runs and things like that and, and gym work. So the gym work seems to have been quite intense. I mean, I sat in on one of your workout sessions last week, uh, yesterday. Um, it seemed to be really, really, really intense. So um, what sort of things have you been doing? Uh, well, the first week we did uh, sort of up and down interval, I think. Um, I think you can call it. Uh, where we rode for about 23 kilometers um, at different paces, which was hard. But I, w- I would say it got to about the second week where you really felt it. Um, it was the exact same as the first week, but at, at a quicker pace, and it really just hit you. But oh yeah, it, it's a big sweat. Like you come off drenched uh, compared to any or, any other bike fitness or even running session. You do. It, it's a different level of bike fitness, and yeah, if, if you're a bike person, you really enjoy that stuff. So. It seems like the Watt bike divides opinion amongst the squad. What are your thoughts on it? Uh, some absolutely despise it, but is it is it something that you can really get into? It can actually it can actually be good. I feel like um, the virtual app we we do use is a big plus. Um, so with that, it makes it much more easier. But yeah, I'm I'm up down with it. I don't I don't I don't mind it. I can do it. But like, if if I can be on my feet and running, I prefer to be running as as this, it is much more comfortable and I'm, I'm used to it. I'm, I'm more of a runner than sort of cyclist. So they set up everything with you. They brought the white what bike over before lockdown and you could just get up and running quick and easy. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Um, they done well to do that to use the club, um, to send, to, to, to get people down and, and give us equipment and things like that. Uh, so, uh, that was a big, Big benefit um, living nearby as well to the club, um, but once that got sorted, yeah, it was right on. And I could just get straight to work really, and not have to stop, stop, uh, and, and and get going again. So it's good. I can just carry on my work and and do what I basically was doing at Fulham. So it's almost like so Ali and the fitness guys they've given you a really good detailed description of what you need to do and what you need to be doing to keep up. So when you get back, you can just hit the ground running almost. For sure. Um, of course, it feels like we're going back into a pre-season when we do go back, but I'll probably be more prepared as we've been given such structured um, programs that uh, are specific to us. So it'll be a big benefit to me um, now compared to pre-season as, as I have something to work towards and things like that. And I've got something to work with, if you know what I mean. I've got better equipment and things like that. So it's a big benefit. And it's been kind of finding a balance between self-motivation, but also getting the motivation from the coaching staff. I mean, I saw Scott the gaffer on, on that r- r- ride yesterday. I mean, he's, he's hitting it just as hard as you guys are. Yeah, the gaffer's a big, big cyclist. And, um, you know, you do your best to keep up with the, the best. So it's a good uh, motivation when the person in charge is, is there doing it with you and then pulling you through. So it's a big plus. Who's the strongest on those bike sessions? It seemed to me that Bobby Bobby Decor Dever Reed was definitely uh, setting the tone a little bit, but also you were up there for sure. Well, I had I had my moments, and um, I didn't want to. So I got up there, and then you sort of just feel Bobby Reed flying past you like he's not even trying. Um, he's a big one in terms of players. Uh, Marek Rodak has a lot of power, so he's able to get going and things like that. Matt O'Reilly's quite good at it. Um, but yeah, Bobby's oh Tim Ream very strong as well. Yeah, yeah. Don't be um, don't be uh, what's the word deceived by his position. Centre backs, you say don't run a lot and things like that. But hey, he's got he's got a lot in his tank and he can keep going. So he was certainly he was certainly like a he seemed like a silent assassin on that. He didn't really say much in terms of in the group, but he was just patiently <laughs> going about his business, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah. He got the job done. Uh, it's a good good sort of person to follow with that so he's to keep get his head down just keep heading things like that and you won't ever hear him have a moan or anything he's just 
it just keeps going and well, it gets it done really. So when when you see so in, when you're in that race and someone so you're on your what bike, you're set up with this app which puts you in a virtual world. You can you can sense so if Bobby Reed goes past you, so it's almost like you're connected but aren't but but not anywhere near each other. Yeah, it's it's a big plus, especially in this sort of um, environment uh, when you're at home and you're not really around any of your teammates. So um, the fact that we're still chatting, we're still uh, together. Um, it, it helps a lot, so yeah. But um, but yeah, it's just it's just a shame that we aren't actually together. But it, it's, it's, it still it still works. It's still so, good benefit. So you're at home. Like, do you live alone, or have you got people with you? So you're not obviously isolated completely. No, I'm with the brother and mum. I still live at home, um, not too far from the training ground. So uh, we are all keeping each other uh, entertained. I guess you could say, yeah. So when you aren't on your bike and you aren't doing your exercises to be ready for when football comes back, what what are you up to? Watching anything good or? I feel I'm at that stage where I've watched so much, I'm not motivated to start anything new. So in terms of that series wise, I'm not I'm not, I'm not too big at the moment, but I feel like I need to watch something because I'm going to lose my mind. Um, in terms of I don't know, I've got things like the PlayStation, uh, which I must and some must at this club to keep your skills at a high level. Because we are a very competitive team when it comes to, to, to gaming. And I've got a few older boys I need to prove a point to and uh, sort of get my revenge. So, yeah, we're not, we're not done in terms of that. What's that in terms of FIFA matches or something else? Yeah, FIFA, um, Harry Yata, Josh Munimar, which they are nowhere near me. But they seem, I don't know, they have days. Let's say they have, they have away trips where they seem to just come out on top and it's, it's painful knowing someone that isn't better than you seems to be you. Of course, recently on Instagram, I think everyone's seen um, mine and Betts' comments. He, he's, he's had one over on me on Call of Duty. Um, so I'm, I'm working hard to make sure I get my revenge on him. So is there anyone else that you play? Who, who's the best in terms of Call of Duty? It's got to be Joe Bryan, isn't it? It seems to me like he seems pretty clued up in that sort of stuff. I've never seen Joe Bryan play. So I'm going to excuse him this, but I want this to be a personal message to Marcus Bettinelli. I am the best. Leave it at that. <laughs> <laughs> so when, before you got slightly tired of watching series or you got series out, what was the best thing that you watched in this time? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have, we have, we have, so I'm just finishing up Peaky Blinders. Yeah, I haven't, I, I, I've never, I haven't started that and everyone seems to love it. He, it, it, it's up there, yeah. It really is up there. Of course, something till I die. I, I, I watched that quite late, but hey, that's what that's what a virtual series. Um, in terms of other things, what do we have here? Uh, yeah, it's pretty much it in these last. Because yeah, it's been a lot of episodes from them. Ah, oh, no, 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 of course, Ozark. Yeah, yeah, I start that. That's Ozark, I've started that. Yeah. I mean, that just makes me. I'm yeah. four episodes, five episodes into series one. That just makes me tense all the time. It's like everyone's after him. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's he's close to the end, I guess. Like he's on a thin line all um, the time. They're the best series on there where you're just nervous for the characters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, but yeah that's so the news today or this week has been that the potential for the Bundesliga to come back. It kind of it fills some hope that the return of football is going to be soon or whenever it is, but football's coming back. Just what are your emotions about? What would you miss the most about being in there training every day and things like that? Um, pretty much just the, the, the competitive routine of, of, of just knowing what we're doing and things like coming in, you know, you're going up against people and things like that. It's just, just what you've grown up to just go and used to. Um, it's a big plus uh, being in alone, uh, not training. Sometimes, sometimes I look back and I, I even take, I even look back at the days I was injured. I seem to like miss them days. Um, just being around the environment, I guess, is pretty much what I miss most. And also the prospect of potentially coming back. And it seems like we f we forget the situation that you're in, sitting third, pushing for promotion. How good is it going to be back to get back potentially and push for that promotion? Huge. Um, I feel like we were picking ourselves up again. Um, uh, last I think, two games it was uh, 
So to, to go into the last couple of games of the season, um, I felt like if it carried on, I think we would have been in a good spot. I still think we are going back, so um, I have full confidence that we'll be, we'll be, we'll be all right. We'll hit the ground running.